So I'm actually surprised how often I'm asked my opinion about marijuana. And it usually comes with a request for a prescription for medical marijuana. And uh, I'm not a fan of marijuana, and I want to tell you why because I know it can be very enjoyable and it seems to help a lot of issues that people have. But what I'm going to go over with you today is the truth of marijuana in my perspective and from the research I've done and from watching and tracking what it does in my patients' lives is marijuana increases anxiety, it gets in the way of the connection with your spiritual self, it has a huge kind of manana energy where you don't follow through and complete tasks. It gets in the way of you and your big picture of your life, of what you're here to do on the planet. And it blocks your emotions, and blocking emotions are not a good thing in terms of just evolving yourself as a person. I always look at the primary and the secondary action of every substance in nature. Every substance that has a physiological impact on the human body has that first reaction in the body and then what we call the secondary action, which is the longer lasting but more subtle reaction that the body has to that substance. Let's use a decongestant as an example. There are substances in nature, natural, that act as a decongestant. The primary action of a decongestant, as you know if you've ever bought an over-the-counter prescription decongestant, is you can breathe more easily, almost immediately after using it. And you probably know the secondary action too. What's the secondary action? You're congested. You're actually more congested than you were when you started. So that secondary action is almost always the opposite of the primary action. The primary action of cannabis is what everyone likes. It's increased focus. It's um, this clarity of thought. It's feeling more connected to your spiritual side. You get great ideas. You know what you're going to do with your life. Uh, you're more relaxed. You're not worried about your boss that yelled at you. You're just kind of present in the moment. It feels great. That's all the primary action. Oh, and uh, senses are heightened. When you eat something, uh, there's, there's a more taste. You, your vision feels sharper. All primary primary actions of cannabis. The secondary actions are almost the opposite. One of the secondary actions of cannabis is completely opposite to the focusing effect. It's a kind of scatteredness of thinking. And there's an attention deficit issue that comes in from the use of cannabis in the secondary action. Inability to hold one train of thought, inability to follow through on something. We talk about cannabis, the secondary action is having real manana energy of like, I, I'm not gonna, I can't complete this task. I've started it, I've started a bunch of things, but I'm not following through to see anything to completion. This is part of the, the pattern we see in people who use cannabis regularly. Another secondary action is actually feeling of a disconnect from your spiritual side. One of my patients describes she used cannabis for some pain she had, and cannabis can help with chronic pain, but you've gotta be aware of the side effects. And one of the side effects for her is she sat down to meditate and she's been meditating for years and she has a wonderful connection with her spiritual self. So she started to meditate and what she got was a vivid image of a manhole cover right in front of her, blocking her entire view. And the, the basic message, she laughed. She said it wasn't subtle. It was like, you're not going to connect with your spiritual side as long as you're using pot. The other thing that's very important to know about cannabis when people come in and tell me they're anxious and cannabis is the only thing that helps them be less anxious and allows them to calm down at the end of the day, I'm very clear that if I can get them to stop smoking cannabis or stop ingesting cannabis, a lot of their anxiety will go away because that is one of the primary secondary actions of cannabis. One of the main things that happens when you have THC in your system is it increases your anxiety and worry. And they've done studies that show that cannabis interrupts the natural cortisol response to stress. Your body has a whole mechanism where it releases cortisol and allows you to handle stress better. And when THC is in your system, the active constituent of cannabis, the THC says, you know, I'm gonna manage your stress 
and it doesn't do a very good job. Now THC is a very sticky resinous substance and it goes and can be found all throughout the organs of the body. It's amazing how, how residual it is in the body. About three months need to go by before the THC is out of your system. So the primary action of cannabis lasts two to four hours. The secondary action of cannabis it's impacting the way you move and act in the world for three months after the last time you got high. So I am not a fan of cannabis and um, if you use it for your spiritual connection uh, I would also encourage you to try stopping. There are all different tools for connecting with your spiritual side but one thing that happens if you're smoking pot and using that as your connection to spirit is all the other ways that you can access spirit, they can't get developed because your body just waits for that instant fix. I'm going to get high, oh now I'm connected. And the problem with that is when you first wake up in the morning you don't have that sense of connection. You actually have less of that sense of connection because you're in the secondary action of cannabis. And the solution is not to reach for a joint. Now I'm sure regular pot smokers you all know that memory is an issue. Memory is a huge issue. But what's the bigger impact of not being able to remember little things and forgetting your keys? The bigger impact is you're not tracking the big picture of who you're becoming in your life. You're not tracking the way you want to make a difference in the world. You can't track it, not in the big picture. You can have a very focused idea of, okay, this is what I want to do and this is the kind of career I want. But with cannabis in your system, it's not likely that you'll have the follow through to actually accomplish it. And the other thing about cannabis is it suppresses your emotions. And what I've found in the past 14 years of my own experience, of my own self evolving and the work I'm doing on myself, is I don't want to do anything to get in the way of my emotions the good ones and the bad ones. I want to feel everything because when I feel an emotion deeply that's when I get to process through that emotion and release it. And, and then once I've released it by processing it through I'm happy. I'm, I'm present in the moment and I'm not worried. I'm not forward and backward thinking. So stopping cannabis is one way to invite the fullness of your life in by saying Emotions come and I want to feel the emotion. I don't want to reach for a drink. I don't want to reach for a joint. I want to feel the emotion. And uh, I have some tools I'm going to be sharing about how to process through those emotions in a healthy way.